Popsicle Bridge is designed to take a minimum of 45 minutes to complete for students of all ages using low-cost materials. Prepare for the lesson by reading the lesson plan, reviewing the PowerPoint, and gathering the required materials. Here's how to implement the lesson with your students. To begin, divide the students into teams of two to three. Hand out the worksheet and explain the challenge. You're a team of engineers working to design and build a bridge out of popsicle sticks and glue, using the fewest number of sticks possible. The bridge must be able to hold a predetermined weight, and the structure must span a minimum of 14 inches in length. When building the bridge, students can use no more than 200 popsicle sticks. The weight the bridge must hold can vary. Increase it for older students, decrease it for younger students. Bridges will be tested by placing them between two chairs, so it's important that the bridges are designed so that they can be suspended at least one foot above the floor. Weight will be placed on the structure for one minute to test design strength. The goal is to test to success versus testing to failure. Each bridge will also be judged by the class for its aesthetic value on a scale of one to five, with one being not at all appealing and five being very appealing. This is subjective, but encourage students to be creative and keep aesthetics in mind when designing their structure. Begin by showing students the resource sheet and discussing the six main types of bridges, arch, beam, cable stayed, cantilever, suspension, and truss. Perhaps consider highlighting a bridge in the community and which type it is. Also, explain critical load and its importance in design. Challenge students to be frugal with the number of popsicle sticks they use to have the most optimal design. Engineers always seek to use the least amount of materials needed to meet the criteria. Student teams brainstorm solutions, develop a plan for their bridge within their team, and draw a diagram of their design on paper. They'll next construct their bridges, test them within their team, and redesign as needed. Urge students to work together to troubleshoot issues they run into. Encourage experimentation and remind students that there are multiple solutions to the challenge. Engineers learn from failure and then apply what they learned in their redesigns. All teams then present their designs to the class and demonstrate their bridge's ability to hold the predetermined weight, using the fewest number of popsicle sticks in their design. Finally, student teams should complete a reflection sheet and share their experiences with the class. Celebrate the fact that these students designed a solution using their creativity while learning how engineers impact the world.